Let's get slicing and dicing with Sir Sturdy Horror fans. On this podcast, you will hear me and a guest do some movie reviews, random funny horror chats, and whatever else comes to mind. So tune in, kick back, relax, and always remember, I'll see you in your nightmares. Well, this station's mask. James, man, how's it going? Good, how you doing? I'm good. Doing uh, The Dentist Part 2. And before we even get into this movie, <clears throat> this movie is actually better than I expected it to be. As far, I, I think it's better than the first one. As far as the way the sequel goes, like it, it fits. It's, a, it's like a perfect sequel. Yeah. That because it just followed, like the story just keeps flowing from the first one. Like he has flashbacks and stuff, which I think is awesome. And just everything. And stuff obviously catches up to him later on in the movie. You find out his wife is not dead. Yep. She's looking for him. And it's, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, too. Like I said, I think it's better than the first one. I could, Just the only reason, because I think the, the story flowed better. It wasn't, like, just chaos, like the first one. Just him, like, going crazy, snapping. I see why you say it. See, I, I, I like them around the same ish maybe this one a little better maybe i don't know just because of going off what you're saying how this story does flow kind of smoother but i feel with the wildness of the first story like every you got to think of everything that happened he caught his wife sucking yeah. the cool guy's dick like he's you're gonna go crazy he's gonna go fucking nuts which oh yeah he snapped and then it went from that to just everything else that happened in the movie which <clears throat> maybe could have I- together a little bit better yeah. I like it's the same guy too. They didn't change the actor or nothing. Yes. That would have fucked it up. That would have I, I really thought part two was gonna be like a different dentist. I was hoping, I was like, it better not. I hope it's the same guy he gets out somehow. Mm-hmm. Or he just takes over the uh Salem Asylum and he kills them going as like a dentist or something. Something to do with him. I was hoping for. It. And it did. It oh, continued on with the same dude. So that was good. Not only, but like you said, not only did it continue on with the same dude, it made the story make sense, like how he he got away from the yep. doctor, and he got away and stole her stuff, like stole her wallet, stole her money. Yep, a lot of money, her. by the way. He carries a lot of money. Yeah, so I think she had like seven hundred on her. Yeah, she carries. She, then he just ended up getting money, getting a truck and shit. I'm like, where the fuck's he getting the cash now? <laughs> well, no, because remember when he goes to whatever town he goes to, he gets someone else's identity. Oh yeah, you're right. That's right. Never mind. For that lockbox. That's right. It's it's either someone else's identity or it's him. His I like. I got to see the picture again because it shows the guy's license and everything. The lock when he opens the lockbox, it shows the guy's license and everything. Yeah, it's true. So it, I'm not sure. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? It's not someone else's identity because it's a made up identity with the money and stuff. So he had that. He had to have had that in store for whatever reason. Because there was a part where the the heavy set girl, you know, with the teeth, what the teeth? Oh yeah, she found it. She couldn't find nothing on him. Like yeah. the person didn't exist. Like, no, yeah, pretty much. That actually, that's exactly it. So, yeah, that's genius what he did. If you think, yeah, creepy. Cool. That part right there with the nails in his face, that was nuts. Yeah, it was. That was nuts, and it was cool at the same time. And I'm like, how the fuck did he survive that? I don't know. He walked out there all looking at him, like talking to him normal. The dude had nails all over him. Yeah, that's that's the crazy part. Because like when I first seen it, I'm thinking like when she's shooting nails, I'm thinking either she missed or she hit him in the chest a few times. And like every shot was a head shot. And he survived. How? I don't know. Because some were like in there deep. It wasn't just like, you know, a t- yeah. nail. they were like in there deep going through your skull. And I'm like, that would kill you. I thought he was gonna walk out and just drop dead on the porch, like tip over. Or that see that I was thinking that too, or I was also thinking before he went outside, like just drop dead, like right in front of the party. Yeah. And then she comes down in a panic. Yeah. She then was, at the end he's laughing, pulling a nail out of his head, looking at it, goes, Oh, he's poking his teeth. Yeah, he's like, that hurts and kept doing it. <laughs> it was crazy. And then well. I'm thinking like 
is there a third one now? Is there going to be a third one? Which there's not. But No, yeah, there's not. You would think that, yeah, because he's free. Yeah. They could, they basically could have kept it going. They could have. I looked. I actually, after it was over, I searched to see if there's a third one. Mm -hmm. But two, we don't have a third one. So I'm like, oh, they, there's not, uh, I guess there's not a part three. I didn't even think about it. I Well, I thought about Googling it. Googling it I just haven't. And I like the flashbacks. I like how – well, I don't like how he cuts himself, but he basically cuts himself to keep himself from going crazy. Yeah. He's like, I feel the pain. This is real. This is not – you know, this this is like his reality right here. He snaps himself back into reality, and he was doing good for a while, the dentist thing. He was. And, like, when he was working – the one – his love interest for this movie. When Cammy, he I think. Teeth, well, yeah. I, well, I think so. When yeah, he was working on her teeth, he like seen roaches in her mouth and stuff, and he yeah. stopped. And he was like, "I got to go change this." And he left the room and came back and like finished the workout. He was supposed to. He was gentle with her. He's like, he's like "I'm not gonna hurt her. I'm not gonna hurt her." Yep. Then he was cutting himself in his arm. Yeah. But then he rolls to sleep down like no one's gonna see blood. He's wearing white. That shit would have soaked through. Yeah, you're right. But uh, he did it in the home too. Yep. In the cottage. He's cutting himself, <clears throat> and then he walks out with the ra with the razor blade. When you know when she's in the house cleaning up the lamp or whatever, and he puts it behind his back real quick. Yeah. But this one was, I you know what you know what I liked about it too is like he he's aware of his um craziness. Yeah, I was gonna try to think of a better way to say it, <laughs> but he's aware of his craziness. It's like a split personality. He's like he talks to himself. Yeah. The, the other one kicks in the psycho version. Yep. And he, but he's like well aware of it, and he's yeah. like keen to turning it off at certain times when he, you know, when he feels like he should. He yeah, like well, like the person, like if they find out who he is, that's it. He he basically just lets it take over. Yeah, he does. He definitely does. And like, you know, what was crazy. Now, I got a question: was was he hallucinating? Which I think he was. Oh, with the girl having sex with the friend? Yes. Yes, that's a hallucination. Okay. I, I so he, he was losing it there. He was peeking through the window and everything. He thought he'd seen him. Then she went, he went in there. He's like, oh, again, he has the razor. She was, I even heard her in her bedroom. That's right. That's right. She came in after he snuck out of the house. Because he was, they, she was, the great thing is she was like really interested in him, really cared about him. Because I remember. There was a part where they did, he did see them kiss, and he was like, "Oh, not again!" And I'm like, "I'm thinking to myself, not again. Like you're not with her. I know you're interested in yeah. her. You're just renting out her cottage, and that's not a euphemism for anything in this time, people. I don't mean oh. renting out her cottage as her, you know." Okay, I got a, I got something to say about this. This is one thing that kills me, and there is females out there who do this. So the part where he goes in and he's a cuckoo's in her. Of liking the dude, you slept with him on Thanksgiving, and he like flips out and he smashes her shit. Mm -hmm. That's a huge red flag. Oh yeah. And this chick is still digging him. I would have said, "Yo, we're not even together. What the fuck is wrong with you?" You gotta calm down. Now, you're okay. This is it. If you're like this, and in my head, I'm gonna in my head. I'm gonna be running. He's gonna hit me if we're in a relationship. If he gets mad. Yeah, I would have said, "Don, get the fuck out! You're nuts." But it, you're right. That's a that's a great freaking point. Like he really flipped out. Bad man. I mean, huge. You're like motherfucker just smashed, just took out with fucking lamp or whatever the hell was on that table. Mm -hmm. I was like, damn. He's he's still obsessed with teeth, though. He's real obsessed. With teeth. Oh well, yeah. He's a you know he's a dentist. And he think he's in his head. He's the best dentist in the world. He might be. He probably was at some point. <laughs> I mean, before, yeah, you never know. Before well, he, in the first one, he had money, so he was a top ass dentist in L.A. His wife messed it up. Yeah, had to go be sucking a pool boy's dick. Fuck that shit all up. But he he was kind of a little off before though. But still, like that did not help. Yeah, no, he had a little temper, like, in, in the first one. And I like the flashback. I thought it was pretty cool where they had, like, the zombie dentist. Mm -hmm. Then the girl with the razor blades, like, the cover with the nails in the as teeth. Yeah, that was awesome. That, that was pretty dope. 
Um, I was shocked. I really thought the private investigator, the white pad, the private investigator, go search where he was. I thought he was going to end up dead. The private investigator? Yeah, but he just disappeared. He basically went back, told the wife, and the wife was like, good, I know where that motherfucker is. And just came at, towards the, at the end of the movie to try to kill him. By the way, <laughs> she got hit in the head like Matt ties by the other chick gotcha. by accident. Well, you know it happens, but I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Well, no, because the chick, because the other chick didn't know what was going on. She just thought he was being attacked, so he she cracked her in the head with that light. The dentist, but, like, but then she hit her in the back of the head with the fucking two by four. Oh, hey man, she didn't know. Put it this way though, she did the right thing in a sense of like. She didn't know the backstory. She didn't know what was going on. She was just like, "Yeah, no, I understand that." You you see blood. You see the chick on top of you trying to stab you in the eye. Yeah, I would have took her out too. I'm like, "Oh shit!" Because in her head, her friend right there, the one that she likes, is getting attacked. Exactly. So that makes sense. But uh, that yeah, rambling. So the private investigator just disappears. I guess that's cool. Um, but the one chick. He did the drill in the teeth, tearing it out again, like the first one where he put the piece in her mouth. That was – see, what I liked about that, too, is because that one – she had that one bad tooth, and he was like – he pulled it out and was like, you don't have to worry about that tooth anymore. Yeah. And I'm just like, this guy's a – It was a little torture. I like that. He was yeah. so like – it's like a truth uh, – a lie detector. You lie, and he ripped another tooth out mm -hmm. and shit. I thought that was pretty cool. He – you know what I like too is when you found the bodies in the closet. How you like this had part, a smile? Yeah, it's like this part of her mouth. It remind me of like the Joker. I was thinking, um, Twisty. Oh yeah, Twisty the Clown from uh, Horror Story. Which I never finished any of. The, I finally only finished. I I stopped at the Coven. I think no, nope, nope. I lied. A little bit. What the Lady Gaga, the hotel one. I want to see. I'm speaking of that really quick. I do want to see the slasher one just to see how good that one was. Because uh, like, overall, it's not a bad show. Yeah, it was like the late the last season that came out. Oh, uh, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. But it's like set in the '80s, I believe. 1984. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Hmm. Either way, I want to check it out. But um, yeah, this. Oh, oh shit! Real quick, I forgot to tell you in the beginning. So my wife went on Etsy, and she bought me three shirts. Nice. So I'm wearing one. I'll show. I'll show them to you now. So let's see if you guess what uh, this one is. Oh, Evil Dead. Yes. There you go. So let's see. Hold on. I got one of ones here. All right. All right. This one. Overlook Hotel. That's the Shining. Yep. Nice. And and she got me this one. This one's uh. I gotta watch that movie again. Well, the by, by the by the way, you'll see, you'll understand why it's only for a certain day. Uh, what did it say? Thank God, thank hold on, thank God it's Friday. Nice. With Jason. Nice. I like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. She got into it. She uh, She got on Etsy. I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, oh, wow. She goes, here, now you got some shirts to wear for Aaron's po podcast. Oh. <laughs> horror, horror themed. I'm just trying to get in your pants. Hey, it's all right. She, trust me, it'll take less than that. <laughs> <laughs> James, yeah, let's go right now. <laughs> You know, the thing is with the shirts, uh, Etsy, I understand there are like, you know, some people on there are just starting up making shirts and stuff. Mm -hmm. I wish they actually wrote the title of the movie under it, like Evil Dead. Actually, this, the skull is actually Evil Dead 2. Mm. You're right. Um, it should have the title. They should, like, put words with it. it. The Shining one had words, but it didn't say the movie, but everybody knows the whole title from The Shining. Yeah, yeah. So, but they're so cool. Oh, yeah. Only the only color I guess they only had in black. Fine by me, whatever. See, I'm not. I like that though. Like me personally, as you see, with most of my ninety percent of my horror shirts are black. I yeah. just feel because like all the other colors can kind of pop out more. Yep. And like I said, I like dark, like black, gray, even like a dark red. It it just it it goes. I feel because like, well. Black goes with anything, I'll say, because it's like it's one of those it's one of those colors that goes with everything. Like if it's yep. 
know what I mean? Like if this shirt was red, it wouldn't stand because of the orange. It wouldn't really look as good. That's true. Versus if it's all black, maybe even I'll say black and maybe even gray, but like a, a gray, dark gray, even a light, light ish gray, but I'll say black and gray. Maybe yeah. black, black though. It really depends too. Like certain things though, like it'll make sense for that one. Like you're the shirt you're wearing now, but there's some shirts like where it's too dark where the the picture itself will be a different color where you like yo if that was a red shirt it would make it pop oh yeah yeah I see. you know what i'm saying so it really depends what the yeah, picture I, is i guess with with this if it didn't have the orange in it and say it was like red with the black hair and the white mask it would be fine yeah but just because it has the orange in it right here it wouldn't look right if it was any other color honestly it would look too maybe yeah. again, maybe gray I would say white, but the thing with white that I don't like is it gets dirty too fast, too easy. That's true. Here's the thing with the black, though. Everything sticks to the fucking shit. You own a pet, you got hair as soon as you open up the package. Very true. <laughs> but, hey, it's still still cool. They're comfortable. Yeah, they are. Yes. So. And I have, wait till you see my next shirt. I have it already. I'm just waiting for two more things to come in because they all okay. go together. Oh, wait. No, I don't. I'm lying. I don't have the shirt already. I have the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, waiting for, I'm waiting for the shirt and I'm waiting for the pin. Nice, nice. The comment. Well, actually, shit, before I'll tell you right now, it's uh, street trash because before the, this episode will be out by the time I get. But by the oh time, shit, okay. So you got a, you found a shirt for it? Yeah, on um this website called which show you wife this website, Cavity Colors. Okay. And it's all some dope horror shirts, and they do have like the titles and the names on them. And there's another one. Um, I forgot the other one. I shared the other one. I shared in the group earlier, though. It starts oh, with, okay. But uh, yeah, just some awesome, awesome horror shirts. And like, I'm I'm somebody who, if obviously, if I have the money, I would love a horror box to be just like three or four shirts a month, even two or three shirts. I'll say three shirts a month. Yeah, I would definitely do a shirt one. Like, it's, it's nice that you get a t-shirt. Like the one you do with the pins and you get little surprises. But you'd rather just get the... the I'd rather have the shirts, honestly. Like, I like it all because I collect, I collect all that stuff. But the thing with me is, it's like, you can do the boxes with just the little trinkets and no shirt. No. Or the trinkets and the shirt. I rather... Because I look at it like, you're paying about, I'd say, overall with taxes included, and then I wear the 2X, so say 40 bucks for the box. 30, 40, 35, 40 bucks for the box. The stripping included. Versus, I mean, if you go out and buy just a shirt, you're paying about 25, 30 bucks anyway. True. If you're buying, you know what I mean? If you're ordering online, you're paying like twenty five ninety nine or something anyway. So it's like, it's cool that they add the extra stuff. But if you gave me like two or three shirts a month, I'll say two, yeah, two or three, four max for 30 bucks, 40 bucks. Say it was 40 with taxes and everything included in shipping. I would do it easily. Yeah. yeah. Because I love the shirts. They're awesome. They're good material. And I mean, a lot of the times with the shirts that come in some of those boxes, you can only get them through those boxes, which I think is pretty cool too. Yeah, that's true. It's like exclusives. But either I would even do it if it was like, say, if Cavity Colors or one of those type of websites did it. It's like, look, we're gonna do a sh boxes of shirts from, you know, they have. I understand they have to charge a little bit more because their shirts are like twenty five bucks. But even if they're like their shirts that are going out of stock or that are on sale for like say ten, twelve bucks a month, ten, twelve bucks. Those are the ones that they just throw four random ones in a box, whatever yeah. you need. Boom. I would do it. That's, yeah. that's what they should do. Yes, you can still have the $27 shirts where it's like, hey, these might not ever make the box, but have the one. Yeah. You know what I mean? You could either True. have that'll be That will be dope. And you just get four random things a month. But, um, yeah, I guess we can get back on this movie. I yep. It was surprisingly good. Like, yeah. I liked it. And usually you think part twos, you're like, oh, crap, here we go. Summer Party Massacre? Ring a bell? Yep, yep. But part three was awesome? Yeah. Psh, makes no sense, but whatever. It's, it's, you know what it is? It's one of those things, like, I feel like with this movie, like I said, this this movie to me is a perfect sequel. Yes. And sequels are hard to do, yes. There's tons of movies that I like that I've watched sequels to, like Friday the 13th franchise. I love it. There's some sequels through that franchise that are better than others, of course. Same thing with Nightmare on Elm Street. Same thing with yeah. Halloween. The Child's Play movies. All that stuff. But 
this was done so well and I mean I feel they could get away with doing it they could have gotten away with doing a part three but at the same time I'm not mad they knew, didn't do a part three because it could have been we could have had part three being what Slumber Party Massacre 2 was which was true a shit show yes. in my opinion my opinion too and like you don't want that you know because this they, like these these two movies watching them back to back to me, is more rewatchable than watching just the first one or just the second one. I, I, mean? I see what you mean, yeah. Because it's like it's like one long, it's one story, it's like one long movie. I'm not saying I would sit there and watch them back because they're about two, damn near two hours a piece each. They're about an hour yeah. a piece. But it's one of those things where, like, if I'm ever to go back to the, watching the first one, which I would, not too long after, like a few days after, maybe a couple weeks after, I'd want to watch part two. Yeah, the same, maybe the same day. I don't know, but I'm just saying, like, I'd want to watch part two not too long after, just because of how well they connect and how well they just kind of go together for like one long story. And it's one of those things where you could say maybe you can cut a couple things out of part one. You can even say you can cut a couple things out of part two and make it one long movie. Yeah, but at the same time, they work so well as separate movies, and it just it's I I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too. Then you got the scene where he had the girl tied up and he's he's hallucinating. He had a pure white dentist room. But it wasn't. It was like fucking still in the middle of being created. He just had her in like a regular chair duct taped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. She's like, it's just an empty room. <laughs> but uh oh, it's cool. Like I like this one. Like the it's uh hallucinations and his cycle shit made more sense to me than the first one. Like, it, it's stuck. It's like, you see what it's happening. Like, yo, what the hell's... He's, like, losing it. Then he sees shit. Yeah. Then he snaps back out. And you see it in his eyes. He's like, the hell? Basically, here's the thing. If that mayor never... I think it was the mayor or the bank guy never convinced him to do the dentist, take over after he killed the dentist, Um, I think he would have made it through because he had a method. It wasn't a healthy method, but he did have it. It was a healthy, but it was working. Was You're right. It was the bank guy because he kept talking to him like, you should just take it over. You, you, know what it, you know what it made him really do it, though, is when the girl that he cared about, her, she had a – he was like, you're home early. And she's like, yeah, I wasn't feeling well. I have a toothache. Oh, toothache. That's right. And he was like, you know what? Let me, let me take a look at it. And they went to the office, and he took care of it. Then, then that's when he was like, I'm the best. Like, he had that. I can do this. I made it through. I didn't hurt her. He almost and did, though. He almost did, yeah. but he, he made it through, though. That. <laughs> that part. <laughs> and another thing, what it was, was because she was like, don't worry about it. She was like, he, she was like, I'm going to go to such and such a town. And it was, he was like, that's 70 miles away. He was like, Let me just take a look at it. Yeah. It was awesome. I mean, it was good that he helped her out. Like, he had the right intentions, but I, whatever it was. Yeah, like his normal self. He's a normal guy. But that psychotic, seeing disgusting things in his mouth, like everybody's like diseased, mm -hmm. just snaps in and he just wants to rip people's teeth out or drill them to the freaking gums. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know, the funny thing about it is how he has that one bad tooth after all that. Yeah, I know. All that shit talking. You have that one bad tooth. But I, I mean, I know you can't do dental work on yourself. Yeah, he was like, "Damn, Cap, the one stay in." <laughs> yeah, and the one, the, the one dentist was a bad dentist. That yeah. okay? There's the part with like the razor blades in her mouth. That's yeah, that's that's dope. And the long tongue. Yeah, the dentist office kind of reminded me of like a fucking uh, funeral home with the sliding doors and shit. It it did. It, did. <laughs> it was it was it was definitely odd. And yeah. The, the crazy thing was the dentist lived there too because he had a bed upstairs. Yep. Because there's a house, dentals on the bottom. He did his office shit. Which, it's, I mean, if you really think about it, like, economically, I guess it's smart. It's there's some. No, there's private ones. There's some around here in Schenectady that are like that. They live in it. It's it's smart, but I just, I couldn't, like, me personally, I feel like if I have a business, no matter what that business is, and this is not shunning anybody, it's not talking shit about anybody, this is just me personally. If I have a certain business, whether it be dental, it's like a podcast. I mean, I know that I do it out of my own home, but I do it via Zoom or, or I only have people over that I personally know. But like, say if I had like a, a studio, let's say I had a studio 
And that studio, I have people come in, they record their shows, they pay me to come record their shows, it's that and a third. And it's like, I live right upstairs from there. Like, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want that because it's like, no matter, or if you own a store, whatever the case may be, if I had like my own horror shop, I wouldn't want it to be right at my home, maybe down the road or, you know, not too far from home, if anything, like from here to Rotterdam Mall, let's say. Yeah. But I wouldn't want it to where I, I mean, yeah, it'd be convenient. Like, like look, I could just get up, wash up, do like I do, go downstairs and be there when I, when I get there. But yeah, then people know where you live and it's just, not that they can't figure it out either way, but it's just, it's just that much closer to home. It's literally like right there. No, that's true. Like you have like someone that goes crazy. They know where you live. They go right up the stairs and just whatever you and your whole family or something. Whatever the case may be. And it's, it's, and it's one of those things where it's like, say you own a business and you're not working that day. You just want to be out of the office. What if you just want to hang out in your yard, your backyard or something? Or just something like, you know what I mean? Just something in general like that. And people are just looking like, oh, hey, Aaron. Or, you know, say you own a business. Like, hey, James, how's it going? How come you're not, in the, you know, how come you're not in the office today? Or how come you're not in the store? Uh, I'm home. Leave me alone. Yeah. Can you run and give me a, Here's the five dollars, and you go in there and give me some bread and yeah. milk. <laughs> like, no, motherfucker, <laughs> I'm closed. Word. No, I hear you. That is weird, but there is people who have it. Oh no, there's a lot. Good, a lot. good for them. But uh, yeah, I think I'm same with you. I wouldn't be able to do it. No, I don't want no one to know where I live. Like again, I'd rather have it from here to say from here to Rotterdam Mall would be like perfect because it's. Yeah, not too far away where you don't have to travel far to your own damn business. Yeah, and then, I mean, even from here, I like Crossgates Mall isn't too bad, honestly. It's not no. at all, but... I'm connected, just, it's connected to Albany's not bad. It's like, what, 25? Depending 25? on traffic. Stuff, yeah. yeah, it depends on traffic. But I'm just saying, like, having it here, I wouldn't want that. It's just yeah. good. And I, yes, I'm a people person, but not that much to where it's like... <laughs> Cause that, cause that, you know what it is. You got them stragglers too, where it's like uh, you can't say you can't use the excuse I got to get home because technically you are home. <laughs> That's true. You're like, yo, I gotta go upstairs and cook dinner. Yeah, I gotta get home, man. I got a lot to do. Yeah. And they're just like, oh well, uh, da, 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 da. hey, I can help you. Nah, no, no, no. That's true. I gotta go. But yeah, and that's it. it I get like again. I do get it. It makes sense in the sense of you save a lot of money because you don't have to pay. It's just like people who, um, which this I'd be more inclined to doing if I did mechanical work or body work, and say if I did like right out of my yard, right out in my yard. Yeah, I feel like it's a little different though because it's the fact of yo know, drop your car off, I'll take care of it, and then I'll call you when it's ready. Type of deal. Like there is a thing. Be, you know, thing is too. I think if you have your business in your own home. You're basically your house is your business, so it's probably a tax write off. Hmm. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I I guess if that's if you have like a legitimate business on paper and all that stuff, maybe. But as far as like, I'm not saying it's free, it's not 100. percent When I say tax write off, no, no, you get no, a no. percentage. You no, know, so. I get, no, I know what you mean, but I'm saying yeah. versus like it has to be like a legitimate business though. Versus like yeah. And I don't, again, this is no disrespect to anybody because these people are usually the best mechanics and shit, but like a mechanic from your own home or they just work out of their own home because it's just cheaper than fucking renting a garage or buying a garage. Then you got to pay for, not only do you have to pay for your mortgage or whatever, if your house is paid off, you still got to pay the taxes on your house and you got to pay for this building and all that other bullshit. It's like, look, yeah, that's true. But I get it. I guess it's whatever you're comfortable with too. It's whatever you're comfortable with with that. With, with that. With, and with that being said, I mean, so sure. Once again, there's not that many kills in this one either. There really isn't. And that that was a downfall with this to me. To an extent, until I seen how the story was going. It seems I was like a continuation of the story. And in this one, yeah. he was really trying not to hurt people and trying yeah. not to hit, kill people. Yeah. But it just kind of happened. And then I after, thought I thought he was gonna kill like way more people. So did I. Like he'll snap more and just like kill him and bury him like he did with the dude one dude. <laughs> The one dude, like, yo, he talked a lot. I would have killed him too. <laughs> he was like, yo, I, I remember her face. I know, I seen your face. Oh, man, he's just sitting there. I'm like, dude, shut the hell up. He was annoying me, and I'm watching the movie. Yeah, I know. I'm like, yo, please get rid of him. And then he buried him in the rose. The bush. Yeah. Yeah. 
It was somewhere in that garden or something. It was a fl- because I remember he was dancing with the chick, and he seen the hand over by the yellow flowers. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, like, you're right. They were right here. Don't move. And he went over there, and he like stepped on the hand and pushed it down on the ground. More as he was over there, he you know got her a couple of flowers. It was crazy. It was smart. Yeah. Move, but I know. still liked it though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like I said, this was just like this was. I'm not gonna say it's the best sequel I've ever seen in my life. No, 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 no. But it's it was a great sequel. It was a per- to me, it was a perfect sequel. That doesn't mean it was the best sequel I've ever seen. Like I said, but it was a, it was a great sequel because it was a perfect sequel. Like I said, it wasn't the best that I've seen. But again, because it just it just continued on with the story. You know, how some sequels they change like actually a lot of sequels, which isn't depending on the type of sequel it is. They change everything. Like it'll be a whole new it'll be a whole new damn cast. What is oh. here's a question for you? What is a good sequel for you? Like you said, it's not the best you've seen. What is a good one Another. that you can, or you can think of? I got one in mind. You go first. The Evil Dead. Okay. I like the original. I like Part Two. I like Army of Darkness. I even like the remake. I love the remake. I thought the remake was awesome. I love the remake. I thought the remake. I like the remake better than the original. Part of me, what I okay. So I'll, I'll try to explain this. Part of me feels like like the original, especially part two, and Army of Darkness. They had put a little comedy in there. Oh, they did. Especially, but the the new remake it was actually more serious. Try serious. Try to make you scared. Mm-hmm. I did like that. Is better. Agreed. Um, uh, but I love that franchise. I think the Evil Dead is really, yeah. I I didn't. I liked every one of them. I'm gonna have to say, as far now, sequels. How many sequels are we saying? Just like, just like part two. I say this is open book. You can go whatever you feel like. Like if they all make sense to you, like you were happy with every one. Now I know Friday Thirteenth. You love them. Yeah, that Something goes up. Happens. Friday. Uh, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, same thing. Let's go out of the box. Let's let's get out of the ordinary ones, like everybody knows, like that. Um. Let's go with like other than Friday Thirteenth and Nightmare on Elm Street, or even Halloween. Let's, even though that won't work, because there are some Halloweens. Well, if you go if you go with one and two, one and two are like perfect back to back with Halloween. I believe that's true, but there's more to them. They keep going. Yeah. So you mean like a trilogy? Somewhere beginning to the end, you liked every single one. Hmm. It's hard. It's hard. I can honestly say because it's rare. If if you say liked, oh well, you did say stay out of the Friday the Thirteenth. I was say Friday the Thirteenth liked. Yeah. I didn't love, but I liked the whole franchise. Um, gosh, I really got to think about that. It's hard. That it, it, Evil hard. Dead is like the one that pops in my head. That I liked every one of them. I never seen Evil Dead Part Two, so I can't really say. And I own it on Blu-ray. You never. It's the one where uh, it's like the little versions of him and shit. No, nah, I didn't see that one. Oh, really? Wow. You okay? You gotta check it out. Oh man, I gotta think. Let me think. Let me think. <laughs> 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 And besides it, this movie, because I could I could be cheap and say the dentist, but yeah, I know. No, oh, it's hard, man. That's what I'm saying. But Evil Dead is like popped in my head automatically. It's not just because I'm wearing the shirt. It's gonna hit me like later on too. I'm like, yo, I'll I'll try to come back to that one. That's a good question. Okay. So what okay. You- what about uh? Did you see all the Night of the Living Deads? I'm not very familiar with those. Oh, okay. They they were good. I liked one and two, even though one was better. Part two was okayish. That's what Evil Dead topped it. That's why I didn't say that. Okay. Evil Dead is way better. I like those. I'd rather watch them overnight. Living Dead. Holy shit! I'm I'm that, I'm really drawing a blank with that. That's a that's an excellent question though. I'm yeah, just, um, it's hard. That's why it's really hard to find one that you go awesome. Okay, they didn't mess it up. And if they went past two, wow, they're still going and they're still good. It's rare. It, it really is. I'm even trying. I can't remember because me and you've been re- recording so much together. I can't even think of movies that we've done where we've done sequels. I'm like, okay, the sequel was just awesome as well as the, you know, the previous, like the two, the two, you know, the two sequels or whatever were great. And I can't think of anything right now. Yeah. 
I can't even use it chapter one and chapter two because I just Yeah, true. That even though that okay, yeah, that's true. That's hard because the original was just one long ass series. Then okay. chapter one and two, you can basically split them, but it's not a sequel. They're really supposed to be together. Yeah. So that's hard. So you can go that way. I got it. But Sinister, yeah. The Conjuring. Sinister, the Conjuring. Oh, yeah. There you go. You're right. Sinister, The Conjuring, and Insidious. Those three. And I love The Conjuring. Me too. I liked every one of them. I can't wait for the new one to drop out. You even like, wow. the, Annabelle, even like the Annabelle movies with that? I love them all. I love that whole fucking Conjuring universe they got going. I do, I really enjoy it too. And they are there are some weaker ones, yes, but I do think that they're really good. Like Yeah. The Nun. I like the Nun. Conjuring one and two were, were just amazing. The Conjuring one was amazing. The Conjuring two. Yes. The Nun I really enjoyed. Annabelle, all three of my enjoyed. I spent my the one I liked the best with the Annabelle one was the last one that came out though. The one with the girl where they actually opened up the door and Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That was yeah. basically released everything. Yeah. Like the ghost werewolf was really confusing. It was, but I I wonder if they're gonna be doing a movie off of that. I heard they were too, but I thought the movie they're coming out now was about that one, but it's not. Mm -mm. Uh, so I was confused. I was like, I hope they do. I hope they keep continuing it. And then Sinister. Sinister is a good one. I love Sinister. And was it? Was it sinister? I just shared this in the group the other day. Was it sinister that they said was going to be um, possibly connecting with? Ins was it Insidious? Insidious is uh, the one with the devil mask. Yeah, there's more than one. Uh, um, it's basically almost kind of like the same. Did you see that? Ish. I didn't see the last one. I, I think I didn't see part three and the key one. What's the key one? The last key. The last key. I didn't see that one. Like they're they're not. So from what I read, they they might connect them somehow, Sinister and um, Insidious. That'd be cool. But I was talking to my brother about it, Henry, and he was saying he said that's a dope idea, but he hopes they he said they should do a Sinister three first, which I do agree with. Oh yeah, I agree. And Sinister, I'll say it like this though: the movies that came out in I guess you could say the mid to late two thousands, Sinister, The Conjuring, and Insidious are probably like my favorite ones that came out. Yes, first, like the mid to late two thousands. But because I don't, I don't remember when the first one of those movies came out. So I thought I said the mid to late. But those are definitely my favorite ones that came out recently. Like, well, Sinister and Insidious came out before The Conjuring. Yeah, but I, I'm not sure what year though. No, I don't remember the years either. It was a while. Matter of fact, you know what, people, I'm, I'm actually gonna Google what year Sinister and the Con what the years these movies came out. This is very, very, very rare of me to do this. See, I didn't even think about the Conjuring because Conjuring is better than Evil Dead to me. Since but I was, I was, I was stuck in the eighties. <laughs> I was going with the, I was going with the eighties horror pop in my head. Sinister came out in uh, two thousand twelve. Conjuring came out in twenty thirteen. And in, in Insidious, I said right. Yeah, that's probably around twelve or eleven. Two thousand eleven. Wow. 11. There you go. Wow, great in order. And they were all fucking really good movies, in my opinion. Me too. I agree. And like, yeah. So those. That's. I guess that could be my pick. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> movies. I, I like. I really. That was a tough fucking question. I really had to think about that because I was thinking older movies too. I didn't even yep. consider newer movies. Me either. I didn't and consider like, the newer ones, and I love The Conjuring. And you could. I mean, they're fun movies, and I say this in quotations, and yeah, I know people can see me doing the quotes, but if you're listening to this on the audio, you could throw in Scream, but I'm not really a big fan of the Scream franchise. No, I'm not either. I watch them. They're fun to watch, but I... And this is before I found out that, how, well, I had... I didn't personally have the bad experience, but my friends did, my boys did, my brothers did, uh, with uh, Matthew Lillard and um, Keith Ulrich. But even before then, I was never like a huge like I had fun with the series. I'll watch the free series. I'll watch the whole franchise. It's supposed to come out with part five. I'll watch it. I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm gonna watch it just because. Yeah, I'll watch part five, but once again, like you're saying, it's like I'm not gonna expect much from it. No. And it, it, again, it's it's just like I was just never a big fan of it. I yeah. 
Me either. Not even the, the parodies. I wasn't even... Oh, see, the scary movies was hilarious. The scary movies, they were funny, but they weren't, like, the funniest things. Like, there were some good moments, like, my strong hand and shit like that, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they started getting crazy, like, stupid. It started dying, yeah. It was... It's, yeah, so, I don't know. I'll tell you what was funny to tell those when uh, I don't remember his character's name in the movie with Marlon Wayans when he was fucking with the Annabelle doll and he acted like it was tossing his salad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he did it to the doll first. He's like, okay, now do mine. Now do mine. <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that. So, that's a, yeah, those parts are funny. Like the stupid humor. Damn, what was his name? Or when he was laying in the, when he was laying in the bed with, the, with his girl. And she was farting in her sleep, and like the covers are moving. He was like, "Damn, girl!" He's like, "How she's like, how can she be so cute and so stank at the same time?" <laughs> <laughs> like stuff like you know, like the stupid, yeah, movies. the I, stupid I, like, shit, yeah. But to me, those movies are like a one to two time watch, and then yeah, you don't watch them again for like maybe five, six years, and then yep. you have the drinks or get high and watch them type of deal. But it's like, yeah, that's yeah. I, I'm with you on that, though. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like I said, yo, that shit's hard to find, though. It's rare. It is. It is. And that was such a good fucking question. Like, I'm still... Those are some really good fucking movies and really good sequels, and they all fit together really, really well. Yeah. Really well. Sequels and prequels, I gotta say. I keep turning this fucking fan on and off. <laughs> sequels and prequels. Because, like... Fighting with the fan. There we go. Sequels and prequels for those for the um. Insi- I'll say actually for the Insidious franchise. Actually, the Conjuring franchise too with sequels and prequels mixed in because the only the one that wasn't was Sinister. Sinister was actual an actual sequel. Is it part three a prequel of of Conjuring? Is part three based on like in the beginning where they started? I'm not, part three is not. When is part three coming out? It's supposed to be. I heard it's supposed to be at the end of this year. I don't know if it's going to get held up now. I heard it was like September. Oh yeah, that I is. could be wrong. That's I. That's why I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember? I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But I can't. I can't wait to see. You know what sucks though, yo? Like, all right, Sinister. Me and my wife went to go see that in theaters. The Conjuring. We went. We seen The Conjuring one and two. We seen. Annabelle. I think we've seen everything but the last key in theaters. Oh no, that's Insidious. Sorry, we seen. We said. I think we seen the whole fr- Conjuring franchise in theaters. I believe Sinister one and two, and most of the Insidious ones except for the last key. So oh wow! The thing that's gonna suck is it's like because it's like a tradition, you know what I mean? Like for certain movies like that. So like because of this whole COVID nineteen shit, even when stuff starts opening back up, it's gonna be like. If I have an option of getting going to the theater and watching it or running it on like VOD or whatever, I might just say fuck it and stay home and run it on VOD just for the simple fact of cautious, more safe, don't have to deal with crowds. Like if they're only say they're only allowing like fucking fifteen people in a theater at a time. I mean, at the same time though, Rod, I we go to Rotterdam Theater, so it's like there's gonna be like six people in there. Anyway. Yeah, true. But it's just I I don't know, man, because. I'll put it to you like this. Like, say if it's like, if you go to the movies, they want you to wear a mask, which I do understand. I do respect the 1 million percent, but I don't want to be wearing a mask for X amount of hours. I know that when we go back to work, that's a possibility. Yeah. But I'll say this. I don't want to be wearing a mask where I'm supposed to be being entertained. Relax. Yeah. You're supposed to be eating. And drinking. Snacks and shit. How are you going to do that with a mask on? Yeah. But, I mean, it's just... I do love the movie experience. I'm not going to lie. Like, I mean, for a whole What about driving? Driving, you're open. I'd rather, honestly, I don't mind the driving, but I'd rather go, I'd rather be in a movie theater than go to the driving. I've never been to a driving. Really? No. It, it's, it's really not a bad, like, it's a cool, fun experience. I've, I haven't been in my adulthood. I've been as, like, my mom used to take us, and the cool thing about it, and then, like, I, I'd go to, like, my older cousins and stuff, and we'd sneak in there. This is back in, I don't know if you could do it anymore, but back in the day, like, say, right up the road from the drive not, like, maybe two minutes up the road from the drive pull over. Everybody except for, like, two or three people hop in the trunk. 
<laughs> and just because yeah, I don't think that flies anymore. But they didn't. I, I'm. They didn't know. I'll say in quotes. Yeah. And you get in there, and you just fucking. You know what I mean? You go in there, and you do what you do. But but like I said, like with the drive-ins, it's not bad. It's fun. It's cool. But I just like the movie experience better, just because you like. I don't know. I just like it better. And it's crazy too. Like you go for one movie, but you're paying for two back to back. That's like six hours or four to six hours being at the drive-in. <laughs> well, well, no, yeah, that's a, that's the thing too. Because with the drive, I remember back in the day, the drive-ins you can get in there for say like ten, it'd be like ten bucks per person. And like, but you're seeing two movies back to back. Yeah. Which isn't bad, but and then another plus is with the drive-ins because you're driving your own food. I mean, driving your own food, driving your own vehicle. <laughs> Bring food and like we bring we bring good for like hot wings. Food. Yeah, good shit. Yeah, but at this, but again, I still just like the movie experience better. Just going in the theater, the sound is better. The vid- it just looks better. It sounds better. More comfortable. More yes, way more comfortable. You don't have to worry about say if somebody wants to leave the movie early, they're starting their car up and driving off. People running around back and forth. Kids yeah, that's true. Shit, it's a it's a, it's. It's one of those things, so it's a good experience. But I've had it, and I don't necessarily, I don't care if I go to the drive-ins again or not. And yeah. it's different nowadays because people are so much different now. Like people are so crazy. Like, people are a lot crazier now. And I don't know. I really don't yeah. know. And the drive-ins are totally different. Like back then, I guess you get out of your car, you can put like camp chairs. You could or yeah. sign. Now it's like it plays in your radio station, so you're trapped in your car. I think. Well, no, no, no. It was it. It was like that then too. Like they have like um, they have like little speakers, like on a little. It's on like a pole, say like this tall, but about as high as your window would go, like your driver's side window. And <clears throat> you know you could hear the movie like that. So say if you want to sit outside your car, or you could have your windows open if you had a good system, or whatever, and play the play it through the radio station. Oh, okay. So you have that option. And I mean, it was one of those things where, like, if it wasn't too cold, if, well, as kids, you're all over the place. You know what I mean? Like, you're either in the car, you're out the car. Yeah. And again, it's one of those things. It's it's a cool experience, but it's just I don't know. You know what I'd rather do, honestly, is you know what would be really fun is uh, getting a bunch of friends and stuff together. Like, say, as whoever whoever owns a home and has like a. a Projector. Like oh yeah, okay. Yeah, doing that outside in the yard would be fun. Like having a fire, the watching say like just to throw it out there, watching like a Friday the Thirteenth movie, having a fire, having some beers or whatever, drinking, smoke, whatever you do as far as the entertainment goes, drinking or smoking, whatever the case may be. It doesn't have to be that, but I'm just saying. No, that, I would do that. That'd be fat. That'd be dope. Fat, dope. I like both. Yeah, I like both. Couldn't decide which one I wanted to use. Uh, using both, but no, that'd be. I think that'd be fun as shit. Like projecting it. Yeah. Even, I know. I know. I, actually, I know a couple people have one. I have. I have the screen. I just don't have a projector. My younger brother has a projector and a screen. I would even do it for not just for horror movies, but like I would do it for fights. Oh, okay. That would be fun too. Just getting together, grilling, and watching the fights outside. That would be, yeah. That's again. Obviously, you interesting. Want it, it has to be a nice, warm, dry night. You don't want it to be. Oh cold. yeah, you don't want to start raining and shit. <laughs> everything up because then you'd have to have like a tent which would still be cool like if you had like an enclosure outside kind of sort of but like open yeah. to where all the electronics were but uh yeah man it's a, it's a cool experience but honestly i'd rather what i just said is what i'd rather do than go to the driving it's yeah more fun more more of like a personal experience in a sense with like friends and family and shit and i mean you're grilling the time and fuck, you don't gotta worry about doing anything going anywhere but yeah, that. Yeah, damn! I'm still thinking about that fucking question. <laughs> like that hey, it fun. popped in my head. I had to because I knew that was a hard one to answer. And I'm trying to think of more movies, and that's a good question to ask in the group. In the group, actually. There you go. Let's see what happens. See how many people. Let's see what they put. But yeah. you're gonna ha- you're gonna have those people though. Final destinations. Like, get the hell out of here! All those weren't, all those weren't good. They were fun though. Yeah, but I didn't like every one of them. 
I like the first one. I like most. I have, I, um, I part have, two, I will say. So if I just went for, like if they only had two, I would say yeah. But then it started getting. I don't know, like. Yeah, it's too much. I'm like, how many things? It's cool that they came up all these ideas, mm -hmm. like um, ways to die. That's what I liked about. Oh, hang on one second. One second. Uh, you're trying to get the nude part. No, more way better than that nude part. A Popeyes commercial just came out. I was looking at the chicken sandwich. Oh, I thought you were looking at the trailer. <laughs> I had, the movie, I had the movie play, but it's on Tubi. Not Tubi. Oh yeah, that's right. They go commercials. Oh, they're they're they're. Uh, they got a new chicken sandwich, or is it just their chicken sandwich? I'm not sure. It Yo, because the Popeyes chicken sandwich is fucking delicious. I still haven't tried it. Oh, you're crazy, man! <laughs> it's better than the Burger King spicy chicken. It's better than Wendy's chicken. It's better than McDonald's chicken. It's better than Chick Fil A's chicken sandwich. I've never had Chick Fil A's, but I, you know what it is, though, man. Like. I, I know how good I can cook. Oh, you're one of those people. You're, you sound like Ro. And it's like, well, no, not even that, though. I mean, everybody and their mother had the damn Popeye chicken sandwich, it seems like, when it, especially when the craze was going on for Yeah. My like, brother had it a, while, a long time ago, and he used to eat it and masturbate and cry in the corner. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He said that, too. He was like, I had this shit before it fucking got crazy. He was like, this been out. What the hell's wrong with everybody? What it is though, it's 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 one of those social media things. Like somebody on social media says it, or they just have it, they hype it up, and then boom, everybody has to get it. And the funny thing is, I was like, I always I was talking to think like, do I want to try it? I do. I still kind of want to try it, but I'm not in a rush. And I don't really eat fast food as much. I mean, yeah, I'll have Wendy's here and there. I don't really go. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll try it. We'll see. It's a big. It's like their big piece of breast they got. It's not like. Thin fried like Burger King's chicken sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's actually a full breast on on a bun. It is really good. Just letting you out there. And you still didn't try Wendy's breakfast, huh? Not at all. Oh, dude, that's a legit breakfast. I'm not gonna lie. You don't. It don't matter what you pick. Wendy's breakfast is a shit. Maybe maybe I'll grab that next week. I I yo that peanut butter burger I sent you though the burger. Yo, I want that. And from um. Max and, Max and Grill. I really want to try that. My brother had that before. Not from them. He had a peanut butter jelly. It's called a Goober Burger. And what do you say about it? He loves it. He loves peanut butter. He put it on a hot dog with mustard. <sighs> a while back, he made a hot dog. We're in our kitchen. Uh, I forgot how old. I think I might have been young 20s. And he was like, yeah, he must have been like 20. Or maybe I was like. 21 and he was like 19 turn 20 he but we're in a, we're in the kitchen and he made a hot dog and he put mustard on it and he was like oh i didn't know you had peanut butter i would have made a peanut butter sandwich so then we were talking i think i said lunch i dare you to put on your hot dog and he did and he ate it he said yo this shit's mad good and he just <laughs> and he just ate it then the same thing with a fucking ham and cheese mayonnaise yeah, like a sandwich. He put peanut butter on it with the mayonnaise and everything. That's, you know, that sounds like the shit. Like when you're pregnant, you do shit like that. No, he don't care. Peanut butter is like his thing. I do one like of his top things. I, I I love peanut butter too. I can I can kind of see how peanut butter and jelly would go with a burger though. It goes with chicken. I had it from a uh, recovery room. I had their peanut butter and ghost pepper jelly. I had um tenders. I actually had chicken wings, peanut butter and jelly wings. I forgot what the place was called. I have to ask my wife, but she brought them. There, there's a place in Clifton Park. There's a place in Scotia, and I believe they have, it's the same business. And I think they ordered them at her job, and she brought some home. And this is back before I started my podcast. I think I was doing my unboxing videos, and I tried them on my Facebook, channel, yeah, my Facebook page or whatever, Facebook Live. And I actually enjoyed. It. I was like, these are pretty good. Yo, let's just go. Like the jelly part will throw you off because I had chicken with peanut butter before. Like if you go to um, Chinese buffets and stuff. Mm. They'll have peanut chicken, like pe uh, the chicken that's basically cooked in peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And that's good. So why not put the jelly on it and make it better? You know what I'm saying? I did, like that burger, when I, that was, I was like, I want to try this. You know, it looked good. I bet, it, I bet it's really good. And I, 
I could see how it can work because you got like the sweetness and the savor. Yep. And I also look at it like a breakfast sandwich. Like I've had like say eggs, bacon, and sausage with jelly or peanut butter and jelly on the toast, and it kind of mixes and it's not bad. Yeah, I, I say the sausage because sausage is kind of it's. I know it's not a burger, but it's close ish. Yeah, have, I know what you're saying. Like a sausage patty, a beef sausage patty, or whatever. So yeah, I might I might have to try that one of these days. Maybe one day next week. I might I I want to try it too, but Good. I doubt when I'll do it. Hop in the car and go get it. <laughs> no, it's on top. It's on. It's on my mind. I want to try it. Should man, I, I I really feel it'd be good. And this ties into they're eating dinner right now, but this ties into maybe a good. It could be one of those good things where you're like, you know what? I'm gonna throw this horror movie on, and I'm gonna have me some a peanut butter and jelly. It was like bacon. Bacon too. That's right. Cheeseburger with peanut butter and jelly on it. That, oh yeah. For some reason, oh, it sounds so good. It sounds really good. And now's the time to try it in case it gives you the shits. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That in case it don't agree with you, you don't have no excuse to call and I'll work the next day. Yeah. I mean, like, even if you're working from home, grab that laptop, unplug it from the TV, and sit on the toilet. And do there it. you go. That's <laughs> <laughs> serious. Do your work while you're dropping some, you know? Yeah, man, shit. But, uh, yeah, uh, I want to try that burger. I'm gonna, if I don't try it this weekend, it's definitely going to be sometime next week. Definitely. Let me know if you get it before me. I'm sure you will. Because, um, for one, I'm lazy and I'll forget about it and I'll be above. Got talking to wife like, hey, you want to order from here? Yeah. And That's what you got. Just say, let's, let's order from here, curbside pickup or whatever, or whatever the type of pickup is, and you're supporting a local business. Boom. Yeah. You should do it. I should. I ha- Yo, their BLT dip there. Mm. Tastes so good. Damn, now I'm going to want to have that too. Yo, it's fucking good. Like, it, the BLT dip, they give you like these little bread things. Like the bread yeah. Things. And it's pretty much a cheese dip with the BLT fixings in it. And it's so fucking good. Like, nice. they they even put, the, I think I've even had it on a burger before, like the, just the cheese. And it's so fucking good. They even have a, um, which, a 50 50 burger, which is 50% ground beef, 50% bacon. And oh, wow. Bread. Okay. I actually made one myself the other day. My, my wife made the patio and I cooked them. But, um, because she had like bacon, we got like, you know, the bacon bits, not the crunchy ones, not the bacon. Oh, bits. yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Good. Did that and did that with the patty and got the good beef and made up the patty. And then, like, w- the way we do patties now when we make them at home is make them thin. Okay. They cook so much fucking faster. They do. They cook so and and you know it's like cooked all however you want to cook if you want to cook well done or medium well like it's you know it's cooked how you want it versus if it's thick, it takes so much fucking longer. Sometimes if it's thick, do you overcook it? Yeah. And all this other extra bullshit, so it's nice and thin, and that shit was fucking scrumdiddly gumptious. <laughs> and I, I had uh, what is it? Oh fuck! What the hell is veal? Is that deer? Baby deer? Hey, wait, veal is uh, no. What Baby is cow? Is that what it is? Maybe. I don't know. Whatever it is, I had veal burgers. Like, we got the loose meat for them, only I ate them. Yo, so fucking good. So, plus, hmm. I, I don't remember. I, 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 I don't remember. I had bison. I had the bison uh, steak. I, I had a bison you. burger. How was it? Good. Really good. You know what's crazy though, y'all, is I can easily fucking I have peanut butter at home. I just don't think it'll be the same. But I can easily put a little bit of peanut butter and jelly on my fucking I know I have hamburger meat. I don't think we have jelly. I can put peanut butter and jelly on my burger and You got the bacon? I, Cook up some bacon? I should just do that. Maybe I'll do that instead of spending I mean, not not there's nothing wrong with spending the money, but it's like what if you spend that money and it's garbage? It's like fifteen dollars for the burger. Yeah, and you don't like it too much. <laughs> yeah. I look at it like if if I make it at home, if I don't like it, I can kind of I can put what I could do. I mean, you could do it. I guess you could say, "Hey, I want that peanut butter and jelly burger," but can you put the stuff on the side so I can kind of just cut it and dip it in? I could do the same thing here. True. And See, just, I, I already know. I I I am like ninety eight percent that I'm going to like it. I feel I would like it too, though. That's the thing. Like, I really do want to try it, and I feel I would like it. And it's just, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I should just try it. Yeah. Maybe I'll yeah. do a video and just... Ah, just don't eat too many, and then you'll have to end up like this movie. You have to go see the dentist. All that jelly, bro. 
That's true. I gotta brush my teeth after. The dentist, man. The this, dentist. This was a good this was a really good freaking movie. Like I'm still yeah. shocked on how well this movie I know we went on a big rant and tangent, but we pretty much talked about the movie. Yeah. And shit, with that being said, okay. How would we do the rating for this one? I don't remember. Uh, nails. How many nail guns would you give this movie? I think that would be Okay. It. What did I give the other one? A five? I, th- I think so. Okay. I slightly like this one better. So I'm going to say a six. I don't remember what I gave the other one. Did I give it a six? I think you gave it a six. I'm going to give this one a six as well. Because I like them. Like I said, I like them about the same. Okay. And I like how the story flowed. Like... As a whole, I'll, you know what, I'll say together, combined, I'll give them combined a seven. As okay. crazy as that sounds, but individually, I'll give them both a six. And some people are like, Aaron, it doesn't make sense. I six and six is 12. Fuck you. <laughs> so what? I don't care. This is how I do my shit. I, I, I understand what you're saying. I, like, again, if, it was like, like if I were watching back to back as one long story or one long whatever. You would have gave it a seven. Yeah, I would have. It would have been long as fuck, though. It would have been like four. If they would have to cut it down to make it two hours. Yeah, it was long. It was like actually almost two hours each one. Yeah, this one was like an hour and 38 minutes. I think the other one's around the same time. Yeah, I was they'd like, damn. Out, they'd have to cut some time out of it. But again, I really enjoyed it. I would rewatch both of them. And I feel, I feel with these movies, like I said, for me to rewatch one of them, I feel like I'd have to rewatch both of them. Not necessarily back to back, but watch one, like, say, for example, like say today and watch one maybe in the next week or two. Just yeah. because you feel like it, you get that good feeling with this movie. You get that feeling of just entertainment and just it connects it better. You The story flows so well, you follow it better versus like say you just watch one or just watch two. Yeah. Or you watch one now and then watch two maybe like a couple months later. It's not going to yeah. feel the same. It's not going to hit the same. If my, even my wife was sitting here watching it with me. Really? And she watched the first one. I mean, well, she was sitting on a couch. She and she hates horror movies, but she was even like, "This movie's stupid." And I'm like, "Yeah, no, you you don't like none of them." She goes, "It is better than the first one, though." Wow, wow. <laughs> I was like, "Okay, that's something. <laughs> You're getting there." It, this movie was really good, though. I disagree with your wife there. Um, but yeah, I would again, like I said, I would definitely rewatch it. I do recommend it. Both of these movies are search thirty approved, especially together. And you want to know shocking? Even Rose seen the dentist. Really? Yep. Because I mentioned I said I got to do a podcast with Aaron tonight, but she was like, "Oh yeah, what movie you're doing?" I was like, "The Dentist Part two because we already did the Dentist Part One. She knew the actor's name. She goes, "Oh, I've seen that." I was like, "You seen the horror movie, right?" She goes, yeah, it has uh, blah, blah. And I was like, you actually watch something and without falling asleep? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's so awesome. I was like, wow, okay. Yeah, hey, it's 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 really not a bad movie at all. It, it, this is one of those movies, too, where, as you know, and I, you're the same as me, I believe, I love remakes as long as they're done right. Yeah. I wouldn't want to see I, I even like watch them if they're not. Oh, yeah, I will watch them because I got to see how they are. Yeah, I want to see what they change and what they add, like how they're trying to make it better. I mean, I guess you could say it about any horror movie, but this is one where, like, I feel if they made a remake, it would fuck it up. Oh, yeah, definitely. Unless they went brutal and, like, had this motherfucker, like, psycho, and you'd see gore and, like, way more killings or something. Maybe. only way that would work for me is if it would have to have the same story, the same premise as far as like... No, it has to keep the same storyline, of course. But I mean... um, Just add more to it, like more, more like killing. psychotic. If they do that, though, I would want more like... You want to see more like dental type kills. Though. You want to see Yes, more. exactly. What like there's mean? so many tools he has. Like a dentist. There's like so many things he could have done. Yeah. You want to see him, you know, like you want to see more dental type of kills using his tools, and you want to see like office kills. And it's yeah, kills. he could have took the drill instead of dr- grinding down the tooth, he could put it in their eyeball, yes, or something I, I else. Think I the beetle in the guy's ear, I believe, though. Yeah, that was cool. That was At least awesome. that was something different. I like the first movie where uh, 
he put the needle in the uh just to inject air in the neck of that one chick. Yeah. This one was better. He actually shoved the the um Novocaine needle in the dude's ear. Mm -hmm. I thought that that was pretty cool. That was awesome. Speaking of that, they just showed it right now. On the trailer. I mean, I guess yeah. we can wrap this yeah. one up. Yeah. My real Oh, kid. by the way, Ro, Ro suggested she goes, Oh, you should do one on uh Darkness Falls. I was like, is that the Tooth Fairy one? She's like, yeah. I was like, oh wow. She said, because her son Jordan's afraid of it. Let's do it. And she she said she'll make uh make him listen to the podcast. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, all right. That's our next movie, when Darkness Falls. And that's actually not a bad movie either. No, I liked it. You never. I, I was like, I don't think he ever did a review on that, but he did a lot, so he might have. I'm not sure. So. I don't think I did either. And I'll do it. And um. Not only will I, I have a, I actually have that figure. We actually, me and my wife actually have that figure somewhere around here. Wait, I'll do that. So that'll be yeah. our next. That, I guess that'll be our next movie. Yeah. Um. Well, we can discuss one after we wrap this up, though. Yeah. But, uh, thank you again for coming on, as usual. No problem. Always have a great time with this. I mean, I, I love talking horror, as you do. People, yeah. we're coworkers, we're friends. This is what we talk about at work a lot. If we're it's not true. a lot of crazy shit, we're talking about horror movies. And. Honestly, I think we need to have a lot more sane conversations about horror movies and stuff when it's just me and you talking. I feel like when other people are in there, it's when we get off the handle, so to speak. Yeah, it gets sidetracked. Like, uh, crazy shit comes out. But if it's just you and me, even though there's a lot of times where it's just you and me, we'll talk about your podcast, and it leads into just random horror or movies coming out or just – don't get Movie me wrong. We do, say, we do have some crazy ass conversations with each other. Oh yeah, of course. But, you gotta have it. You gotta oh, yeah. lighten the mood. You gotta have some fun. So you, before you go back to your desk and want to slam your head into your keyboard. Yes, that's true. <laughs> but uh, with that being said, people, you should know where to find me by now. I hope you know where to find me by now, but I'm not gonna act like you do. So I'll start off with YouTube. If you want to see me and James or whoever else I have on this podcast, YouTube, or with Search 30, and you get to not only listen to the podcast, but you get to see the podcast, you get to see the cool backgrounds I do now. I know I said before I'm going to be doing the trailer with the movie covers. I forgot until today. So <laughs> I'm going to try to keep doing the trailer with the movie covers. I think it's more entertaining. It's kind of cooler to just see that in the background. Anyway, Horror with Search 30 on YouTube. And if you go to my YouTube channel, you can find, you go to the About section, you can find my twitch channel you can find my facebook group you can find all that stuff including my podcast channel or my podcast page and my um my email but i'm going to tell you all this stuff so first i'll start with facebook i have a facebook group it's called horror with Sir sturdy with the group feel free to share anything and everything horror related including your own projects your own work your own youtube channels all that as long as it's horror related and just be involved in the conversations in the group. Start conversations, join in the conversations, make cool posts and all that stuff too. I don't mind people sharing their stuff, but do more than just share your stuff. I love it. I think it's awesome because it's more horror for us to check out. But do more than just you know be be involved in the, in the group more. Um, I have a horror research study page that's 100 percent for the podcast updates on like hey I'm going to this con or hey I'm going to be doing a live video and you know that kind of stuff where I, I post all my videos there. And random horror pictures with me or my wife, me and my wife or my brothers and all that stuff. That's just a strictly for the Horror Star Study podcast stuff. But please like that page. Give it some likes. You'll be updated on the news. I do post the same stuff in the group, but it gets lost in the shuffle in the group. So the page, you'll always be able to stay up to date. I have a Twitch channel, horror underscore with underscore star underscore sturdy, which I game with friends and family have a great time on there have some wild funny conversations so definitely check us out i do have a capture card now i'm still trying to figure that out once that's all figured out you'll be able to see me as well as see my background of me gaming and all that good stuff that you get to see those other twitch people on but you know so follow my twitch or underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy um as far as listening to the podcast i'm on spotify podbean itunes anywhere you can listen to a podcast or music you should be able to hear this podcast what else am I forgetting? If you ever want to be on this podcast, shoot me an email, horror with sir dot sturdy. Again, that's horror with sir dot sturdy at gmail.com. Interviews as far as if you're in the horror industry, indie or up or indie or Hollywood. Random horror chats. 
movie reviews, as you can see what this is. And yeah, anything horror related, I'm willing to, I would love to discuss with you guys. So if you want to come on here again, shoot me an email, horrorwithsir.30 at gmail.com. One more time, that is horrorwithsir.30 at gmail.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you're watching, don't be afraid to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit that uh, like button for these videos because that helps me, you know, get more views and all that because it'll put me in a different, some, it does something. I don't know what the hell it does, but it helps. It helps. So just, just, even if you don't like the fucking video, just give it a like, give it a like, subscribe, hit that notification button. So when I drop these videos, it'll be like, oh shit, sir, sir, drop a new video. I can go see it now. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. And um, everybody stay safe with this whole COVID-19. Try a burger with peanut butter and jelly on it. Uh, let me think what else. Oh, fuck you, Nicolas Cage. Still don't like you. And as always, have a great day. And more importantly, I'll see you in your nightmares. Fuck you, Nicolas Cage again. <laughs>